Hello everybody, today we are going to get physical. Metaphysical that is, and don't worry, due to copyright reasons, that will most likely be the last time I do that gag. But this is Metaphysical, created by Electric Dragon as a short, surreal visual map. So yes, it's possible Fridays have accidentally become weird portal days. I will do something to correct that shortly. Um, Through here, right? I keep my metaphysicality behind a large closed door. Metaphysical, as it slowly arrives on the screen. And we are greeted with a very dark, ominous catwalk into the middle of nowhere. What is it with uh, weird portal maps, right? I feel like they're either goofy and silly or feel like the start of something quite horrific. There's no no in-between ground whatsoever when it comes to surreal portal, it seems. All right, fine. I'll follow you out into the never. At the end of you... Oh, there's a bit of light. I should probably... Step into the light, Carolan. into the most overexposed chamber I've ever seen. Okay, fine. Um, at least there's some semblance of science going on in here. We've got a button, a very overexposed button, which connects to the freeform floating door with a rather ominous figure stood behind it. Okay, fine. Is that literally free floating? Can I go? No, there is a physical wall. These walls are not meta. That one exists. Um, ah, wait. There's the cube. The world's most overexposed cube hidden here in the void of light. Okay, well, you go on the button, right? And then something horrible. There was definitely some sort of figure out there. You sit on there. Opens up. Hello? No? It's it's a Minecraft crucifix. Is that something you see every day? Hello? Minecraft Jesus? Steve? That meme that I never quite understood? A briny? I, I don't know, okay, um, yeah, just just a pixely crucifix or a small tree. Yeah, let's say it's a small tree and that this is not in fact something horrible about to come out at me. Can I do anything with you? Do you free float? No, you do in fact have a physical wall to you as well. Okay, let's, let's feel out our surroundings because there are walls here. So that feels like a wall. That's as far back as I can go that way. Uh, the door is in fact physical. Yeah, we established that. It's very much up against a wall here. No, okay. Um, I don't know what to do with the Minecraft crucifix. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to see that or not. There was definitely, definitely something up there. Is that where we dropped in before? That can't be where we dropped in before. We dropped in here. We dropped into here through this void. Which is an entirely different void apparently fine okay um take the cube through is it one of those maps that like screws of you with world portals and now the wall no longer exists no the wall still very much exists and i've lost my cube there it is i can only make it out by its small shadowy footprint right you sit back on there then and we return to here um am i supposed to do something with you you're not interactive we have no portal gun for quantum tunneling technology you don't do anything? Um, okay, it's a long shot, but om nom shabai, om nom shabai, om nom shabai. Mixing genres there. Uh, I didn't do anything, so... No? There's an up. You a weird map that, like, does up stuff if I... Jump? Yeah, okay, jumping. Jumping did the thing. Goodbye, Minecraft crucifix. Hello. Silence, my old friend. Yeah. Surreal map, definitely, definitely surreal. Head towards the giant button, right? Buttons mean progress. Buttons usually mean progress. Fuck knows in this situation, so press upon you. That's the no-no noise, and green means good, so I'm confused. Not the end, is it? We done? Oh, Christ, no, we are not done. Oh, wow, okay, um... Yeah. That took a turn, didn't it? Um... That's weirdly impressive and so very wonderfully surreally aperture. That looks fucking great. Uh, let MC Escher do this part of the facility, did you? You know, based on that one painting of his. Um, I forget what it was called. I think it was called Crazy Stairs. Uh, yeah, okay. So please take me back to something more normal. Nope, fine. Uh, there is a button there. Caged and upside down, as one would expect in this kind of realm. 
Oh, where do we even start with this nonsense? Uh, okay, like, this cat walks upside down and every way round. There's gaps, which mean I can go between catwalks. Because that seems like something I want to do. There's an exit. An upside down exit. So at some point, something is going to flip our world right round. Fine, let's drop down here. Uh, you are assuming death, right? That's probably still death. There has to be some sort of normality in this surrealism. That one I can drop off of. That one goes nowhere. So I guess we just start attempting to navigate a maze of catwalks in the void. The grand void. Probably try and get to stuff, right? Is there stuff to get to? I can just about see a cube over there behind all of these. So to you, no, I completely missed because I suck at aiming. Ah. And we're back in this. Okay, fine. Yeah, um, let's try that again. But aim better when we attempt to traverse catwalks in the void. Because that's a sentence I thought I'd ever have to say. Let's drop down to you again then. And find this way and be, I don't know, just a little bit more careful about it this time, shall we? Yeah, I don't trust that one bit to you. Thank you, okay. Uh, the backside of a catwalk. Something's going to flip everything right round over at some point, right? Follow you up. Actually, this reminds me, uh, there was a comment on one of my other videos a while ago. Probably ages ago now, there's a cube over there. There's in fact two cubes over there. Interesting. Uh, yeah, the comment absolutely ages ago. Someone pointed out that the reason catwalks in Aperture are such a twisted, confusing mess is because they're designed by AI, right? And AIs don't really know how humans like to go about walking to places. And for whatever reason, that is now permanently lodged in my head and makes perfect sense for Aperture. Uh, let's drop down to you. And get a cube? Yeah, we've got a choice of cubes. I don't know if there was two cubes here before. Where even were we? We want to get up there. There's the button, so we were over there. And there's the upside down button, so... What is doing you do? Is that just a new cube? Oh, that fizzled both. Do I get two again? Uh, that... That was probably the longest drop I've ever seen a cube do. Do it again. Where is that even coming from? Probably best not to question it, and I don't have two anymore. Is that because I died and screwed up the metaphysicality? It's entirely possible. Um, so, cube would make sense to go to the upside down button, because making sense would be lovely right now. Uh, down here, and I guess we can go this way under this sideways catwalk. I can't quite, if we suck it in a little and crouch, we can go underneath. Which lets us go up to here, where I'm going to have to put you down again because I've already lost track of where we are there. Right, do you do magic uppity things like the previous room? No, you do not. Okay, I guess we need Minecraft Crucifix Jesus powers to pull that off. Let's head up here then, because up seems like a good place to go. Uh, there is our exit. Our exit connects to you, who connects to you, but you've got one of those gates that never open, but that probably means nothing in this particular map. Um, that's where we came from. I don't want to go where we came from. I want to go other places. I have to try and... You drop down to there. You dropping down to there disappears behind a load of catwalks and I can't interpret past. You know what? Let's take our cube for a little meander about this mess. You... Down onto you. Isn't that where we were before? That goes up to... Is that where we want to go? That way? What's down this way then? Hold on, Cube. You wait here. I'm going to investigate further ahead for safety purposes. Uh, you let me go down to a below. And I think that button's up here, right? Yeah, the button's up there. And this is, I guess, what you could call a dead end. So, no. Yeah, it's dropped down onto that other one that we were looking at before then. Which actually appears to be the sideways catwalk we crouched underneath before. Fine. Uh, there's a little gap there. I can probably jump that. I'm waiting for the thing, right? The thing. There's always the thing in a map like this. There's the thing. Christ. Okay. What did that do? That, that inverted everything. Somehow even more MC Escher now. That does look really cool though, don't it? Uh, okay. 
It's more dramatic, I'll give you that. Let's take you up this way then. Around. And then that's one of those gates that never work, so... This around, followed by this up. Is this just a lighting trick, or did you actually go ahead and, like, invert all the model's graphics? I mean, their textures, actually posterize them. Uh, this... Looks like it'll get me close to that button. If there's a way through here and not another one of these gates, there is a way down. Okay, now, how does this work? Are you gonna do something weird when I put you in here? Can you even go in here? Is this a red herring and it's just gonna drop and I have to go get it back? I pressed the ominous button, and everything went dark. Because of course it did. Uh, those gates there have disappeared. Those, isn't that the one I want to go? Okay, that gets us up to our exit then. Is that the way out of this hailscape? Uh, drop down from this one, carefully onto the upside downness of this one follow you up and that's just our exit over here then so is that actually the end no of course it's not christ don't do that it's hard enough trying to walk in a straight line on these bloody things so no not that way then um fine that way probably not that way um is it that one behind how do I get there now? You've taken away my one access route. Uh, well, you've done it again. Why did you do it again? What did you do this time? That's switch. That's switched, right? Whatever that is wasn't there. Okay, let's go find out what that is and see if we can actually trust getting anywhere near the bloody thing. It's a faith plate. Faith plate that will launch me happily over towards our exit. No. Of course not. Alright, fine. Uh, so you're even further away now. Yeah. Um, there's no way to get to that now, is there? Can I go back and you'll do something, something else weird to mess with me like that? Like you'll make these stairs magically reappear and we can just happily get on out. I, I seriously doubt it. Like, do the black thing now? No? You're not going to cut to black dramatically? Fine. Is it... Is it a holy grail walk of faith kind of thing? Is there something to catch me in case it's not a holy grail walk of faith type of thing? Okay. Okay. I am the penitent one. No, it's not. At least there is. Catwalk directly below. We're back down. Here. Um... I reckon it's get you, right? If we get that cube out of there, if we can remember how to get there, take that out and things will switch around. It feels like that kind of screw with you map because it hasn't screwed with us yet. Not even slightly. No, it hasn't ripped things out from underneath us. It hasn't inverted the world as we know it. Um, yeah, it gets hard to know what to say with a map like this, to be completely honest. I'm, I'm as lost as you are. Uh, how did I get over there before? We've over there. Over there is not you. Over there is off of you. Yeah, I'm going to go remove that cube and see if that does something. Literally, literally anything would be welcome. So, uh, where is it now? No. It's back up there. Back up there is... Oh, yeah, we did the sideways catwalk along here with the little gap, right? Yeah, and then that gets us up to the level where we can get to the button. And hopefully doing something with that will fix everything as we know it. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. This is fun, though. I do, I do love weird, weird aperture. And like I say, Fridays seem to have inadvertently become weird portal days. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Do you like Fridays being weird portal days? I mean, there's definitely going to be more weird portal just it might not necessarily always be on a Friday. This is how we get here, right? That's how we went to where that disappeared from and it wasn't a faith test thing. So, take you out. Maybe I've got to get back to you, right? Since that kind of started this whole nonsense. Uh, if I take you out of here, does anything happen? No, absolutely nothing happens. Wait, is that closed our exit? Because that did open the exit before, right? But... 
No, the exit's still open, it's just... inaccessible. Because of surrealist bullshit. Um, probably you go back in there then, right? Although I feel like we could use a cube to maybe step up another catwalk? I don't know, you don't seem to do anything now. And that, honestly, is ever so slightly worrying. Is there a way to get back to you? You're completely cut off, aren't you? There is no jumping to get back to that button. Okay, fine. Uh, this way had the most progress. Onto you. Yep. Asshole clenches every single time I have to do that. And no, this way didn't work. What's going on with this mess over here then? Can I get anywhere near it? Uh, that's where you took the faith plate away. Nope, faith plate was higher, wasn't it? Can I get to that one? Maybe we're not supposed to be going to the exit at all. Maybe the exit is just another lie. This one doesn't go anywhere either. This is where the faith plate was before it was so cruelly taken away from us. Can I walk? Well, we walked on the side, right? Can I walk in here? This, this exists. Is this enough of a drop to be deaf or is that actual surface? I mean, that looks like the sort of thing you'd fall onto and destroy your chances of children, weird thing. I was going to say, you go split-legged there and destroy your chances of children, but something else happened instead. You told me to jump into the light before. Can I get anywhere from you? You do line up with you. You want me to go into there again, right? Yeah, fine, sure. I trust you as much as anything else at this point. Into there, into the darkness, my old friend again. And we're falling, we're falling, we're falling. We're falling to the exit. Are you actually the exit? The lies, the lies so far, you could be literally anything, right? What do you think, press the button? Or just walk into the light? Press the button? Or just walk into the light? And press the button, it's here. All gates have been removed, feel free to explore. Feel free to explore? You mean, go back into this nightmarish hellscape? This this wasn't here. This is back. Why, why do I explore? Can I explore to anything else? Can I get onto like, one of those massive structures? Many of which appear to have disappeared into the foggy distance? It's gone eerily quiet. What am I exploring for? There could be literally anything in here somewhere, right? At the end of one of these massive distances that I can get to. I can't get to you. Go back down into the mess of what we were walking around before. But what does that actually get me to? I'm getting more and more tempted to walk into the light and end the suffering. Um, wait, is that button accessible again? It's hard to tell which catwalk crosses which from a distance. No, that button is not accessible. I could get onto that sideways one. There. There is another, like, drop we could walk into here. That one looks like it would kill me, though. Fogginess usually means death at distance in this game. And I think I'm going to walk into the light. Yeah, let's go walk into the light. Um, I will have a look and see if there's anything, like, extra hidden in this one. For the moment... My exploration is done, and I wish to escape this hellish catwalk-based nightmarish hellscape. Because that's a lot of words to string together. Um, yeah. I don't trust you, I'm going into the light. Into the light, is that the end, or is there more? This is the end, isn't it? Quite honestly, Electric Dragon, what the fuck did you take before coming up with this one? Uh, wonderfully surreal and very enjoyable indeed. Metaphysical, created by Electric Dragon. So a very big thank you to Electric Dragon for creating and sharing that one. And a big thank you to the Oculus Dragon YT for the recommendation. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I think I need to go watch some cute kitten videos to try and uh, eye bleach this before it infests my dreams. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.